wanted to run this by you and that's um when i was growing up and i first got into kind of improving myself in in terms of like consuming this content and then discovering like how all the key let's say principles in the modern self-development um teachings are all found in islam in a better way in terms of with more meaning and with more um purpose essentially because everything's linked to that holistic system if you're just into self-development and it's like okay using the gym example or let's say learning optimized learning it's a big thing like oh um you know flash cards and all the rest of it and how you can two times your reading speed two times audio and say you take islam out of the equation and it's like what are you doing if it's just the worldly end whereas with islam everything goes back to like allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everything goes back to islam like you're learning whether it's like a worldly topic to provide for your family or whether it's arabic if you go into the gym that's got a noble intention behind it and i felt like it was like the perfect system and then even the little things of like they have this thing affirmations we've got adhkar <laughs> which is better they've got gratitude uh, right down right we've got morning adhkar with like subhanallah wa bihamdihi alhamdulillah and then even things like visualization uh, you might find this interesting um Sheikh Hamza Yusuf mentions in his book um purification of the heart he mentions a, a story of how um, pious predecessors and when i saw this I, i was i was like um shocked but in a good way and he was um he, he was talking about uh, visualization and he said some previous scholars or ascetics they used to lie in a coffin yes right and kind of visualize it uh -huh. and then he, um sorry I just said Allahu Akbar. I never made that connection between those two things. Yeah, and th th this is why it really kind of interested me. And then um, he made the analogy about how sports people are told to visualize. I was listening to an audio book recently, and it's all about visualization. And even in my own life, I, I can see how there is benefit to it on specific goals where you kind of visualize where you want to be in certain aspects. And I was like, Alhamdulillah, like <laughs> everything. is in islam but in a better way and sometimes i feel like that's what this project was kind of um, born out of because i feel like sometimes there's a disconnect between making islam practical in that way in terms of like visualizing using these techniques to get closer to the deen mm -hmm. and um, the positive of that is i've found that people who are into self development who are muslim even if they're not practicing muslims instead of finding that spiritual void in um buddhism or yoga or whatever else because they have like some family history of islam or they went to the masjid when they were young they go back to islam to fill that and that's a positive thing out of the whole kind of um movement so yeah i just wonder if you got any thoughts on that before um i ask a specific question yeah that's really fascinating and and especially i, I like um I like your point about tying it back to Islam and how Islam is not just kind of like a deeper motivation and and better but it also is kind of it's more holistic and it ties us to the rest of creation more right I'm not like I never super got into like the modern secular self development sort of uh, literature but I feel from it I sense from it that it's very kind of inward looking right it's like you and yourself mm. develop yourself self development mm. right Mm. the idea of self development in islam and especially it comes through in books like alawa asfahani's book is that this is part of your role as khalifa right your purpose as a human being is to be the khalifa is to be allah's successor so it's like putting yourself in responsibility okay and responsibility over what over the whole creation like that's what we're supposed to be responsible for we're like the managers right and uh so it's not just you know just developing ourselves to develop ourselves or just to get satisfaction though well, that's that's there alhamdulillah that's a, a benefit that Allah put there for us to enjoy it but actually uh you know good versus evil like if good is going to win out it's going to depend upon this it's going to depend upon people developing themselves and taking on these sorts of habits and and working on themselves so that they're they're worthy they're worthy of the responsibility and they fulfill the responsibility you know it's like when you give a kid like responsibility for the first time is like go to the car and, and get whatever you give them the keys or ask them to start the car up or something like that and you see that like look in their eyes like he really just asked me to go do this like this is like something big you know something amazing and then so you know they 
they walk a little bit taller and they puff their chest out a little bit more, you know, it, given that responsibility, it changes them. And so that's kind of how it's supposed to function for us too. We got to step up to the plate, rise to the occasion and take care and develop ourselves because we, not just, we need it, but the whole world needs it. The world needs us to develop ourselves. The plants and the animals and the birds and the trees need us to develop ourselves so that we take care. If they, if we don't take care of them, if the Muslims don't take care of them, who is going to do it? Right. That's kind of the question. And the answer is, you know, there's this hadith that amazes me where the Prophet Muhammad said that for the alim, the person who knows the religion, everything in the creation asks Allah to forgive him. Even even the fish in the sea. And the explanation of the hadith, because somebody who understands Islam is going to take care of everything around them. It's not just about you and yourself. You're going to make sure that the poor is taken care of and the weak are taken care of, the vulnerable are not taken advantage of. You're going to be thinking about the rights of every single creature on this planet. And that's something that, yeah, I don't think that there's anyone left to do it except the Muslims. Mm, yeah, I think I definitely need more of that in terms of self-development is very self-focused and it's like, you're right in terms of like, obviously as um, you develop yourself to be a better Muslim and then part of being a better Muslim is being good in all aspects in your like hukuk al-ibad and um, hukuk al-nas.